So let's jump into part two of this segment, talking about the Transformers Hasbro Pulse fan stream. Now we're going to be talking about the Rise of the Beast stuff, some new information we learned, some pre-orders that went up, little bits of pieces here and there from design standpoint that I like to talk about. And then a brand new micro segment that Ben of Marketing brought up, the pipeline. What is going to be coming in the future? What is going to be discussed? What is going to be shown? So we're going to jump into that. And first, we're going to talk about the Rise of the Beast stuff. We have Evan and Delaney from Marketing, Evan from Design, and they are going through the Rise of the Beast Studio Series products. So first, they go into the Off-Road Bumblebee Studio Series number 100. Again, we've seen all of this stuff more or less. Uh, we're just going to pretty much talk about their little uh, design notes and little uh, comments. Uh, in the case of Evan, he talked about how they picked Bumblebee to be number 100 because Bumblebee also kickstarted the entire studio series line with SS01. So that's why they picked him. So that's pretty much all we could say about that. And that figure is up for pre order on Hasbro Pulse right now. Next up, we have Battle Trap. They didn't have much to say really about him except that, uh, you know, Mace Fists are really great, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, they talk about the core class RC. And they said the reason why she is small and a core class is because they want to keep everything to scale. And in the movie itself, she is quite a small character, pretty much only slightly taller than humans at eight to nine feet tall in robot mode. So that makes sense. I'll be honest with you. That that pretty much adds up pretty well. I mean, even when we look back at the old Revenge of the Fallen stuff, a lot of the uh, RC twins and stuff were done in a smaller scale next to their human alliance counterparts just to kind of match that scale and they were like they were like legend scale when you really compare it to those more voyager class scaled kind of uh human alliance stuff the studio series deluxe class air razor evan brings up how uh, the arm rockets or the arm blasters that this figure has is a nod to the original animation model from mainframe entertainment during beast wars and that she has a huge wingspan in deluxe bird mode very large for that of a deluxe class so stay tuned for the awesomeness of that studio series voyager class cheetor uh, they talked about how when they talked to takara about how they're going to make cheetor a voyager class they were surprised that they were going to make him a voyager class until you see the trailer and realize yep studio series is all about scale and he is a very very large cheetah even bigger than that of a car like bumblebee as you see in the trailer so he had to be a Voyager class, and that is that. When we get into our leader class, Studio Series Scourge, they said they wanted to put a ton of orange light piping into the figure, really make him glow. Uh, they were very proud by using a leader class in its budget. They were able to have all the little emblems on the front radiator grill of all the different characters, and like what they, they showed uh, from Stephen Capel Jr. with all his photos of the front of Scourge and his grill, so they were able to mimic that detail. Um, they mention here also, and this is in the listing itself, that Scourge is going to be coming with an attack at the museum backdrop, which is interesting because the battle trap toy also comes with an attack of the museum backdrop, even the exact same wording in both of their Hasbro Pulse listings. So is it going to be a different angle? Is it just going to be the same backdrop, except maybe because he's a leader class, it'll be a larger backdrop? And it'll be just be the same photo that we saw in the trailer and stuff. We don't know, but that's going to be happening out there. His pre-order goes up today, Studio Series Scourge, where all the others have been up for pre-order for the past couple of days now. And he will be the standard leader class Studio Series price point MSRP of $54.99. Check that out. The last thing that they brought in was the last of the core classes, the elusive Freezer core class. Uh, they skipped out showing it at the beginning for a reason because they want to show how it interacts with Scourge, how in fiction it's meant to be attached to Scourge, and it is a Terracon character. His alt mode is a gun mode, which has a 5mm peg that plugs onto Scourge's arm, and that's how it's, I guess, fictionally is supposed to be meant, but is a 5mm peg and can be wheeled by anybody if need be. Uh, he also has a compact mode, which apparently interacts with Scourge's truck mode in the back. So we didn't really get a good shot of that one. So we didn't really see anything of that. Delaney pointed out that uh, Freezer has a very fallen kind of color scheme. 
uh, probably suggesting to their Unicronian origins. So that's a nice little touch, Delaney, to kind of give us there. And uh, we don't have a pre-order or any major images of that one yet. It was just something that Evan brought on the screen, and we kind of just have some in-hand images, and that's it. No official images as of this recording. Uh, maybe by this weekend for the for the Transformer Slag podcast live stream on Saturday night. Maybe we'll get uh, some brand new images. Next up was Ben. Ben talked about, and this is Ben from marketing. He talked talked about the pipeline. What is going to be coming next in the future? And to keep an eye out for it. They didn't have any images. They just wanted to give like some teaser images, which are just obviously just photos of the characters, not the toys themselves, and what to be expecting in the future so for deluxe class and again a lot of these we heard through listings and stuff some of this is new information so keep that in mind deluxe class we have beachcomber that we're going to be getting at some point again exciting news to finally get more of our mini bots in a larger scale including beachcomber uh, probably going to get a lot of repaints out of that like g2 and everything uh, we have devcon that is fantastic we've been talking about getting a devcon it's finally we're going to be getting a decent devcon figure so that's really great they didn't have a photo for this one but they did have a trademark name axle grease a deluxe class muscle car this is probably that lockdown looking junkie on that we saw in the poster so this is going to be his first you know version of him he's going to be that junkie on and then i'm pretty sure they're going to repaint and retool and partial him into a animated lockdown at some point much later in the voyager class they did a great announcement of uh we're going to be getting a re-release of the voyager class conehead seeker of dirge there was a lot of demand from fans to do that so they're doing that to give people an opportunity to pick him up again and he teased that maybe some others of those coneheads will get another release opportunity so he just teased that at the time being there's also going to be a black repaint of the Leo Prime, a.k.a. Lyo Convoy from Legacy Evolution. This was a Shusan idea from Takara. The black repaint, of course, stems from the original toy getting a black repaint and appearing in the show as a character. So, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a Optimus Convoy-esque kind of character. At some point, it's going to get a black repaint. It's just in the history. We just talked about that last segment. Uh, leader class... Here was a big announcement. Armada Megatron is getting a leader class release, so that's fantastic. Getting a nice updated version of that character. The last time we saw anything of that was during that uh, Power of the Primes, Titans Returns, Combiner Wars bubble, where he was just a, a partial retool of the Megatron from the Combiner Wars leader class. So now he's going to get his own tooling. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, let's put it this way. From the beginning of Legacy, we got Hotshot, we got Starscream with the Star Saber, and we have a future Commander class that uh, is going to be a little Micron Convoy also. So along with a Leader class Megatron, it's a nice stacked Armada Micron celebration. It's the Aaron Archer era in Legacy Evolution. Hopefully we'll see more characters from Armada in the future. They also talk about how, just like how they had the Volvo... Uh, truck that was used for the holiday optimus prime they're going to be using that tooling and they're going to be giving us a classic optimus prime sam worked on this one while they didn't specify what specifically the assumption by many fans it's probably going to be combat hero g2 optimus prime done in a quote classic style so stay tuned for that uh again it's going to be that again holiday optimus prime volvo truck design which is very similar to the old g2 combat hero optimus and the last thing they want to just cover pretty much is what they felt was their favorite stuff and you had evan who really likes the metal hawk mark who really loves the crash bar delaney loves that studio series scourge and bmac loves the twin cast and asks the fans that when they finally get their three blaster molds the blaster from kingdom legacy the shattered glass blaster and of course the twin cast here that they'll do because they all have a pointing finger which is also the button pushing finger that they could do that spider-man meme where it's the three spider-mans from 1966 spider-man pointing at each other so <laughs> that's it more or less guys of the roundup of everything like this but there is more to come Again, next week, stay tuned for some surprises. I don't want to spoil, but there will be some surprises involving Mr. Over here that you're talking to, as well as a few other people. And of course, and of course, 
some other items that we might be talking about later this week. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in to the Transformer Slag podcast, and we will talk more Transformers later this week. Take care.